It's 10 trivia questions on Ted Lasso cast actors resumes. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out another episode on our Ted Lasso themed week. If you want to hear my whole story of how I got to host trivia for the cast of Ted Lasso, listen to Monday's episode. It's called uh, Ted Lasso Multiple Choice Trivia, and you can hear that story. And if you want to see some cool behind the scenes footage, some pictures, some stories, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds at any level tier. You can see all the posts I've been putting up daily from uh, the backstage footage of that very fun show. Today's episode all about Ted Lasso, actors and actresses and other things they've been in. This show is coming to an end, it seems like, especially with the writer's strike uh, going on right now. And it is a fantastic show that I don't want to end, but I also love in the modern age when a show is not that long. Like, I don't think we need 10 seasons of a, of a good comedy. I think we need three to five at the most. That's just my opinion. But um, I don't have that much time to watch stuff like this. <laughs> and uh, I like to feel like I completed it. And I also like to go through and watch these shows over and over again uh, with a smaller batch of episodes. Uh, I do that with a lot of British shows, uh, like Peep Show, although that was nine seasons, but they're like six episodes a season. Uh, Peep Show, Toast of London, uh, The Inbetweeners, Dairy Girls. I've done that with a lot of different shows. Uh, Schitt's Creek, that's five seasons. Um, so I dig it. I dig a shorter overall run with higher quality episodes, kind of striking while the iron's hot. Um, if Ted Lasso went on for eight seasons, I don't think it would be very good in the back half. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, but until then, we can celebrate this amazing show and see what we know about actors and actresses and other things they've done or are about to do as pulled from IMDb and Wikipedia and things like that. Before we get into that, we've got our categories challenge. The letter is E as in ecstasy. And we've got three categories, words associated with winter, things that have wheels, and things that can get you fired, all starting with an E. Words associated with winter, things that have wheels, and things that can get you fired. If you want to listen to my answers, stick around to the very end of the show. You also get a fact of the day at the end of the show, which is fun to listen to. Okay, we're diving into Ted Lasso actors and actresses right now. Here we go. Ted Lasso actor and actress resumes. Here's number one. Hannah Weddingham plays Rebecca on Ted Lasso. She also plays the shame nun on what HBO series? Number one, Hannah Weddingham plays Rebecca on Ted Lasso. She also played the shame nun on what HBO series? Number two, which actor filmed a segment featuring Elmo, Grover, and Oscar the Grouch for season 53 of Sesame Street? Number two, which actor filmed a segment featuring Elmo, Grover, and Oscar the Grouch for season 53 of Sesame Street? Question number three, Juno Temple portrayed Marilyn Monroe on an episode of what Comedy Central series? Number three, Juno Temple portrayed Marilyn Monroe on an episode of what Comedy Central series? Number four, Brendan Hunt, who played Coach Beard, has appeared in commercials for Geico, Volkswagen, Oscar Mayer, and What Colorful Candy. Number four, Brendan Hunt, who played Coach Beard, has appeared in commercials for Geico, VW, Oscar Mayer, and What Colorful Candy. Question number five, Phil Dunster, who plays Jamie Tart, played Colonel John Armstrong in what Agatha Christie adapted film of 2017? Number five, Phil Dunster, who plays Jamie Tart, played Colonel John Armstrong in what Agatha Christie adapted film of 2017? Number six, which Winnie the Pooh character did Nick Muhammad voice in 2018's Christopher Robin? Which Winnie the Pooh character did Nick Muhammad voice in 2018's Christopher Robin? Number 
Number seven, James Lance, who plays Trent Krim, played a character named Martin Anus on a British comedy called Blank of London. Number seven, James Lance, who plays Trent Krim, played a character named Martin Anus on a British comedy called Blank of London. Number eight, Jason Sudeikis played an animated father on what short-lived Fox sitcom? Number eight, Jason Sudeikis played an animated father on what short-lived Fox sitcom? Number nine, Tohib Jimo plays Sam on Ted Lasso and stars on an Amazon sci-fi series called The Blank. Number nine, Tohib Jimo, who plays Sam, stars on an Amazon sci-fi drama series called The Blank. Number 10, Sam Richardson, who plays billionaire Edwin Afuko, hosts the Little Buff Boys sketch on what hilarious Netflix sketch series? Number 10, Sam Richardson, who plays billionaire Edwin Afuko, hosts the Little Buff Boys sketch on what hilarious Netflix sketch series? And the bonus for two points by the end of season three of Ted Lasso. How many total episodes will have aired of the show? Number 11, by the end of season three of Ted Lasso, how many total episodes will have aired? Those are all your questions for Ted Lasso actors and actresses. We'll be back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to Ted Lasso actors and actresses. Let's see how you did on this quiz. Number one, Hannah Waddingham, who plays Rebecca on Ted Lasso, played the shame nun on what HBO series? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Uh, Hannah Waddingham is like an amazing Broadway singer. Look up some of her clips. She is very talented, and I think she sings on every season of Ted Lasso in some way. Number two, which actor filmed a segment featuring Elmo, Grover, and Oscar the Grouch for season 53 of Sesame Street? Brett Goldstein, Roy Kent himself. Number two, Brett Goldstein. Number three, Juno Temple played Marilyn Monroe on an episode of what Comedy Central series? Drunk History. Number three, Drunk History. Got to host trivia one time at the Comedy Central Drunk History tent at um, a big comedy festival in San Francisco, probably about six years ago now, with Derek Waters, creator of Drunk History. Uh, It was very, very fun. And uh, all the bartenders in the tent were dressed as different historical figures. So it's like Abe Lincoln getting you like a gin and tonic. It was very fun. Number four, Brendan Hunt, who plays Coach Beard, has appeared in commercials for Geico, Volkswagen, Oscar Myers, and Skittles. That was the colorful candy. Skittles taste the rainbow. I bet he's in a weird one because there's a lot of weird Skittles commercials. Number five, Phil Dunster, who plays Jamie Tart, played Colonel John Armstrong in what Agatha Christie adapted film of 2017, Murder on the Orient Express, Murder on the Orient Express. Number six, which Winnie the Pooh character did Nick Muhammad voice in 2018's Christopher Robin? Piglet. Number six is Piglet. Number seven, James Lance, who plays Trent Krim, played a character named Martin Anus on a British comedy called Toast of London. I mentioned it in the intro as one of my favorite shows to rewatch, Toast of London. Number eight, Jason Sudeikis was an animated father on Son of Zorn. Son of Zorn, kind of a cool idea. He was like a He-Man type animated character who had a real life son, I believe. Uh, I don't think I ever saw it, but I remember the trailer for it. Number nine, Tohib Jimo, who plays Sam, is on an Amazon sci-fi drama series with Tony Collette called The Power. It looks very cool. I kind of want to watch it. I think he's a photojournalist on it. Number 10, Sam Richardson, who is Edwin Afuko, hosts the Little Buff Boy sketch on I Think You Should Leave. Season three coming soon. I think in uh, 18 days. It's at the end of the month, and uh, I'm going to have a watch party. It's the funniest sketch series I think I've ever seen. I'm going to say it. I've watched season one and two about 15 times, and that's another show. You can just keep watching over and over again. So can't wait for season three of that. And uh, we'll do an episode probably right before that comes out on seasons one and two, the best sketches from I Think You Should Leave. Uh, The bonus here for two points by the end of season three of Ted Lasso, 34 episodes will have aired. There's 10 in season one, 12 in season two, and 12 in season three. Season three episodes are all almost an hour or longer, which is very exciting. So it's almost like a double season because season one, I think they're all right around a half hour. So it's almost like we got four seasons of the show. But there you have it, Ted Lasso, actors and actresses. Thanks for playing along today. Hope you had fun. 
with that episode. We have a fact of the day for you, and that fact of the day is all about Japan. In Japan, there is a spa where you can swim in a pool filled with red wine. So if you want to go soak in wine, go to Japan. There's your fact of the day. Uh, Fun thing I wanted to mention, I'm giving away a Ted Lasso Funko Pop of Coach Beard with a hula hoop around his waist pointing at you. It's a very cool, it was a con exclusive that now they carry at Target. And I'm going to mail one to a very lucky Patreon subscriber. You have to be a subscriber of Patreon, patreon.com slash trivia with buds by this Monday. I'm gonna do the raffle on Monday. So I'm gonna take all, I think I have 80 patrons, put their names in a raffle and uh, pull one name. That one name will get a free Ted Lasso coach beard with a hula hoop at his rave on that episode from season two. Funko Pop, exclusive to cons and Target. If you want to try and win that, make sure you are at least a dollar tier member. Patreon.com slash Trivia with Buds by this Monday, which is May 15th. Okay, we'll do that raffle sometime in the middle of the day on Monday. Uh, Your Scategories Challenge is coming up right now, and it is the letter E. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Words associated with winter. How about uh, Easter? <laughs> no, that's more spring. Uh, words associated with winter. Equator. Nope, that's the opposite. Uh, 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 I can't think of anything. Nothing with E for winter for me. Man, that seems like it should have been easier. Things that have wheels. How about this one? Um, a... Uh, a uh, Oh, this is bad. And things that you can get uh, fired for. Egging your boss's car. There you go. I got one out of three. Egging your boss's car. Egging in general. We used to do that in high school. It's a terrible thing. I'd be so mad if I came out and there was egg all over my car from some some punks. But we were those punks. Don't be those punks. Tell your kids not to do that. I I have a great time as a parent just uh, thinking of all the awful things I did growing up and... uh, just explaining to my kids why those were awful things to do. Uh, And they're always like, you did that? I'm like, yeah, I was kind of a jerk. Uh, But most kids are. And uh, all you have to do is guide them to not be as jerky as you were. I think that's all our goals as parents. Uh, Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers. 